global guest Peter Cardillo who's also joining in. Peter, uh, Dow is only extending its decline. Uh, this uh, coming in after weak economic data, all the technology stocks are looking pretty nervous ahead of their earnings. And add to that, uh, Donald Trump's comments that came in just a while ago where he seems to be suggesting that perhaps we need to look at delaying the elections. What's going on? Yes, indeed. These are the three factors that are pushing the market lower today. And of course, you know, um, the plunge in the uh, second quarter GDP is an historic uh, plunge. We didn't even see those numbers back in the 30s uh, during the Depression. But I think the real fear here is not so much uh, that number, because that's all news, and obviously it was due to the total shutdown of the economy. But the real fear here, here is that for the second uh, week in a row, we saw um, uh, unemployment claims uh, rise by 1.43 million, and that's uh, obviously uh, a bad indication in terms of uh, the jobs market and certainly in terms of confidence and future spending. So, um, you know, it's been um, it's a it's a busy day in terms of earnings, and after the close, uh, uh, we'll be hearing from from the four big uh, uh, tax companies, uh, tech tax companies, Apple, Amazon, Freeport, um, uh, um, and, and Amazon. Uh, these companies uh, obviously uh, will be market movers, and of course, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But as far as today is concerned, I think the um, fears um, of the election and, uh, of course, uh, the jobless claims uh, are weighing on stocks this morning. Take off uh, those comments coming in by Donald Trump. Is it a reflection of too much nervousness ahead of uh, the November elections or the fact that Joe Biden is now uh, leading the race to become the next U.S. president or perhaps uh, the fight against uh, coronavirus, which is is not uh, ending? On, uh, on the other hand, uh, the tussle between U.S. and China only on the rise. Uh, what are you what are you uh, how are you looking at uh, those comments uh, coming in by the U.S. president? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, uh, we've been we've been citing these problems for a while. Obviously, not the election tweet, but um, you know, the geopolitical problems with China, uh, the fact that we have high unemployment, and that's probably going to continue, and that's going to weigh on consumers' spending. Um, this all, um, you know, is is negative um, news that um, I should say negative worries that will eventually uh, impact this market. Uh, the only reason why this market has been uh, has been climbing and has been basically ignoring um, the coronavirus, um, the geopolitical problems, and, and the high uh, level of unemployment is because we have a generous Fed. And uh, when you have uh, zero interest rates, uh, the only game in town is the equity markets, and we're seeing that, uh, and, we've, and we have seen that. And, in fact, yesterday, you know, the Fed um, certainly um, um, didn't come out with any surprises. Uh, they're going to continue uh, to print money. They're going to continue to try to support the economy. Uh, the only surprise was that um, um, they indicated that, the path of the economy um, depends uh, solely uh, on the course of the virus. And so with the uptick in uh, new, new, uh, new, uh, new uh, uh, virus cases, uh, this is adding to this long list of worries. And so, um, you know, the market uh, could be headed here for some sort of a short-term pullback, but again, but we have to remember that um, the zero, the near zero rate of return in interest rates is a big cushion for the market.